Hello, good news everybody. There is the most recent RetroPie updates. This will eventually become RetroPie 4.3. So we're going to go a whole uh, number up from 4.2 to 4.3. A lot of these changes you've already seen on your RetroPie, but there's some new ones as well. And we might see even additional ones on top of these. Let's check it out. So first thing is there's going to be more Odroid XU3, XU4 support. This is great because it's a little more powerful than the Raspberry Pi 3 and the Raspberry 4 is taking forever to come out. So this allows you to try the Odroid, although this might not be a huge deal because you could just buy a $100 mini PC and it's going to perform great and you can just port RetroPie over. So there's already options to do this, but to me it'll be interesting to see because I know a lot of people do own the Odroid, so maybe this will at least you know, uh, start a new doorway, a new concept going on, and people supporting it, and maybe it will turn into something much larger. That's what I'm looking forward to, but we'll see. Only time can tell. Um, it's going to give options to do like Nintendo 64, almost all the catalog to work, as well as, you know, Dreamcast and some other systems. Uh, many updates to Emulation Station. All these are have already been implemented. Uh, we now have a favorites. Uh, all your games recently played in custom collections. This is really easy to do. You hit start on your controller in Emulation Station and you can see your custom collections and you can put them in there. I really like a little feature that not many people may have noticed though is when you're in the all menu or when you're in your favorites menu, let's say you have two Mortal Kombat 2s and one's for Sega Genesis and one's for Super Nintendo. The file names are the same. But what RetroPie does is it adds an extension onto it so you can see whether it's the Super Nintendo or the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive. Uh, it'll tell you that specific game, which is really cool. A little small feature, but important to do. Definitely makes uh, for a lot of customization as well as um, a great way to organize, you know, especially when you're talking thousands of games on your retro gaming system. Video and image screensaver support. I already did a video on this. I didn't know you could do it with images, so that's great. So now it's going to have not only some video snaps, but you can have like a slideshow. Um, it's not going to be flying toasters, but uh, you can. You, <laughs> I'm sure you can figure out how to add that to it. But it's going to be all your games on the system. And then if you hit, um, I believe select is play a random game, and start is play that particular game that you're actually viewing, whether the image or the video snap during the screensaver mode. You can also change how often you want it to kick in and a bunch of other little things. It might be reversed on the start and select, but you get the idea. Power saving modes, great. The, um, the Pi is already really, really good on power saving, but good to save even more. Many theme fixes and improvements. Yeah, we got some cool themes, definitely. Configuration and RetroArc hotkey enable button. Well, they, they also updated RetroArc. We're going to see that in a second. So you're going to have the latest and the greatest as far as, you know, things you can enable, shaders, controls, save states, things like that. Whatever RetroArc is updating, you'll have that at your fingertips. OMX player, I believe the Pi traditionally was on the VLC player. Maybe don't quote me on that. But now there's going to be a lot more OMX player support. So we'll see what happens with that. It's going to be really as far as like how the image looks in emulation station or a track mode and as well as those screen savers it's going to give you a little more options there um, maybe even boot up screens things like that many other fixes and improvements you can see a full change log there we'll go there a little later and show you that um, as i mentioned retro arc was updated advanced mame is going to be updated that fixes some sound issues maybe work with different roms fuse has been updated uh, Zessa Rux has been updated. Uh, Final Burn Alpha, this is good and bad. It's good because you're going to get the latest version, but what happens is if you have older ROMs, they might not load with this newer version. So you're going to have to download all new updated games for your Final Burn Alpha collection. So do be aware of that, that um, when you update that package, you might have some compatibility issues. Uh, Main for All, renamed to Main 200. Okay, so it's good to know. Blue MSX updated, and uh, you're going to now have Coleco support. So nice, nice stuff right there. MAME 2003 updated with fixed audio for Mortal Kombat series. Good stuff. Scum VM updates, GPIO updates, workarounds. Um, Mupin and Glide. So we might actually have better Nintendo 64 performance as the emulation gets better. I mean, if it can optimize, I've, I've debunked this, that you know, it's because of the Raspberry Pi's performance, it's not MuPen, it's not uh, Project 64. These emulators can emulate almost perfectly. It is the uh, power of the Pi and how it uh, manages that data and information given the restrictions it has with uh, you know, a built-in uh, GPU, CPU combination that's not anything to be 
impressed by. But I mean, it's $35. Remember that, guys, $35 for a Pi 3. Improved controller mapping buttons and RetroPi setup. This is great. You know, most all my controllers work, whether it be wireless or wired. So the controller support has been great for um, in for RetroPi. And uh, I, I think that's one of the biggest downsides of a recall box, you know, is the is the controller support. So that's very important, you know, especially with all the USB controllers on the market. And a lot of you have controllers laying around like the Xbox or the PS3, PS4 controller. Those are supported very well. On RetroPie. Run command user menu support. So this is get more people customizing their own image would find use of that. Um, enable some additional packages for Odroid. Like I said, more Odroid support. Great. Bluetooth configuration better, especially with the PS3 controller. I just did a recent video on, on how to get your PS3 controller uh, bound both Bluetooth and wired. So easy, super, super easy. It's like a little step by step, but you can get that thing on Bluetooth within 60 seconds if you know what you're doing, or even less. Uh, new configuration tool to change terminal font size. So nice. That's cool. You can change the font, maybe bigger or smaller. You know, it's pretty small when you look at it. Uh, new packages. So um, I believe Pegasus has been on there for a while as experimental, but maybe they just moved it to non-experimental now. C64, great to see. You're going to get a free Sonic game, Sonic Robo Blast 2 and ports. Um, that's going to be with your Mario War, your, your uh, Quake. Uh, all those ports are just going to still be in there and they're expanding on it. Uh, C Dogs SDL classic overhead running game, run and gun game, nice. And then X68 emulators, and then many other fixes and improvements found in the change log here. And you can see uh, everything that they fixed, like certain freezings, uh, logo text, uh, your ability to add, uh, you know, music, whatever it may be, video screensavers. It tells you what version it was added in and when it was fixed. You were talking, you know, the the collections all these little fixes from new features to even just crashing or how things correspond when they go from one menu to the next menu items things like that so a lot has been done here i'm going to go ahead and leave these links in the description below let me know what you're most excited for if you have any questions comment below shout out to the retro pie people um you know they're doing a great job it's awesome awesome system i mean this community has only grown exponentially and uh, it's because of their labor and work that it's happened. It does not go unnoticed. Uh, mad respect for them. And uh, let me know what you think. Is there something they missed? Something you would like to see added that you think many other people would like as well? Maybe you have a personal one that you'd like. Personally, for me, it's background music. I would love it if, A, there was a really easy way to do it. I know there are scripts you can download, but if they could just go ahead and pre-install those scripts, a and then B when you hit the start button there should be a little menu icon where it says enable background music or disable so from the click of a button you can go start go up to video and I can disable the background music you know my mom's over background music off uh, my wife comes home from work background music off you know I'm by myself background music on you know <laughs> whatever the reason may be uh, that would be a nice little feature to have me personally and I've also seen a lot of people on my channel comment about that But let me know what you think don't forget to like this video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and we'll see you guys on the next one